What's up guys, it's uh, MVP Forever and um, today I'm bringing you a video or pretty much a vlog and you know, something, uh, things that I do you know, when I'm bored and stuff like that but uh, this time around I'm I'm working on this uh, subwoofer oh, this is from Sony and uh, the problem with this uh, sub is that uh, it powers on but yet no sound comes out of it so after doing some research and reading articles here and going to forums, found out that uh, pretty much anybody that owns the same um, subwoofer model, they all um, have the same problem. So uh, um, one of the thing I did when right, I uh, uh, as soon as I found out all that stuff, okay, I took the uh, rear panel off, right. And this is uh, all these uh, boards that you see here, these two here. Um, this is from the uh, uh, crossovers, right? After further inspection, everything appeared to be fine. There's no leakage, there's no burn capacitors, nothing uh, like it. So um, I say this one looks okay, right? And with this board here, also, um, same thing nothing wrong right um and well that was tedious just to go uh two resistors and anyways okay this is the rear panel um this is subwoofer is uh, a dual sub obviously it's an enclosed uh cabinet that's the uh power on and off feature or button i might say and let me just flip the panel off to show you guys what model um, sub, sub am I working with, right? This is a uh, Sony. Um, let me show you right there. S A. Sony S A. W. X seven hundred. S A dash W X seven hundred. Act as some woofer and a lot of people. That own these uh or own this uh sub, actually, they willing to uh, pay or buy them um defective because it's not nothing like it um from Sony. This is one of the best sub Sony has uh, done according to them, right? Um, you know they got the uh, SA dash WX nine hundred, which is a later model than the seven hundred. But they still say that this one was a uh, best um, um, when it comes to sound and and bass punch and stuff like that. This uh, this the seven hundred is better. It's a, a overall better system or a sub. Right. Let me just walk you around and show you. Actually, that's the uh, main board. But I'm gonna catch up with you guys uh, in a few minutes after I show you the back of the uh, sub. Right, and this is how the back looks like right here um, yeah sorry for the poor light All right but this has like 300 something screws which I put them back after removing the pan back panel because I don't want to lose them but this uh, I don't know why it's so many screws it seems like it's uh, bomb proof or something because dude it's a lot of uh, um, screws okay and let me see if I could just I don't know if I could get you a glance at how this thing looks like let me just face it against the uh, anyways this is the uh, inner sub and obviously that's the front right this is the inner sub right and can't wait to get this, uh, um, you know, working because I'm excited about just uh, reading about other people that own this sub. This sub goes still even um, is like a eight ten year old sub. They're still going. I mean, the one that I saw on eBay. Uh, this all this is a rare um, sub um, speakers that are very hard to find. And they going for about three hundred bucks. Yeah. 
All right, so uh, enough with those, uh, you know, about the sub, and let me get you guys, uh, uh, you know, show you what I found and what usually goes wrong for those uh, that owns one. All right, uh, let me see if I can get you a pen because, uh, okay, I'm just gonna carry this board with me. And give you some better light. All right. So on here, what I actually found, I don't know if you guys could get a uh, better glance of how this looks like here. Yeah. Oh boy. Sorry guys for the lighting's in the shaky cam. Okay, do you guys see do you see something wrong with uh, these capacitors? I mean, um, the one that reads uh, R830, right? I, R830, which is this one here. Let me see that one. All right. And we have R831. But the R830 appears to be yeah, it looks like it's burnt, burnt out. All right. We also have the C eight C eight six zero, which is that one. Let me see if I can make it focus a little better. All right, but that one appears to be good. A lot of guys take pictures. Uh, I mean, they took a picture of that um capacitor, but and the one shown in that picture was like leakage all over the place. But this one. Apparently, it's a pretty good capacitor. All right. Okay, but this is where I'm uh, I'm caught at at right. Yeah, I read somewhere, well, on the forums, that um R831 and R830 are the same part. They're both the same. You know, I guess the R831 and R830 is just uh um where located. Right, but that's not the actual part number. But um, yeah, look at this uh, terminal. I wish I could give you better lighting, but uh, there you go. Mm. Let me see. Yeah, that's you guys can see there. Burn part. I mean, uh, it's burnt here and there, both ends. You 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 guys are gonna be the judge of how a uh, R eight three one looks like. Should I uh, replace it as well? Might as well, right? But this is how they used to. This is how they uh, should look like. You know, like nice and clean. Where's my pen? I can't find it. Sorry, guys. Um, let me see where I'm at. Okay. See how they clean? Both end look looks right. They both look clean. Comparison, right? But this is and where am I? Right here. Okay, enough of that. So oh, let me show you the back real quick. Let me flip it around. And pretty much this is how the back looks like. See how um, this one, this is the uh, A R A three one or R A three zero, and this is the um, R A three one. But you see the difference in the uh, solder. This one is burned down. This is not. That's the question arises. Babe. Should I replace? Should I replace the uh, top one as well? Because on the bottom it looks good, right? But R eight three zero is obviously, you know, bad. You guys uh be the judge, should I, should I not, All right? Okay, so let me uh, walk you through uh some of the research I did here. All right, I'm gonna take you here. So this is what I got. Uh okay. All right. 
this is the R R eight three zero and R eight three one. They both the same um part. Alright. The same thing. But uh, this one says is uh four point seven ohms five percent um ceramic um shield or whatever, right? But uh zero point five uh, zero point twenty five watts. Right or quarter watts. All right, that's uh, the one I'm looking for, and this is the part number. R eight three zero part number one two one two eight four nine hundred. And I went to the Sony website, and uh. Uh, this is where I'm caught at, guys. Um, they say they don't have it in stock. Went to eBay. They, you know, they seem appear to uh, be the same, but uh, I have doubts. Of, you know, I don't want to get the wrong one. Let's see what we have here. All right, should it be this one. I mean, it says uh, uh, quarter watts. Yada yada. Yeah, but I um this doesn't tell you the oh my goodness okay this is uh, where I'm at here okay this is what I'm looking at is that the same one All right four point seven ohms a quarter uh watts which is a uh, zero point two five watts All right. 5% car carbon film suffering um look at them right there so I'm gonna go back so you guys could just tell me if that's the same one or see what I'm saying 4.7 ohm 5% um coating or uh, ceramic in uh, 0 0.25 watts. Okay. And I typed in the uh, part number and that's the results which is uh, 1212 and this is what I got. Alright guys, I hope you guys, uh, you know, um, anybody that has more knowledge in electronics and repairing and resistors, stuff like that, more than I do, um, you know, here goes the picture, it's 4.7 ohms and 0 .5, 0 0.25 watts, um, is that the right one? You guys leave the comments below, okay? And um, in the meantime, I'll keep on doing my research, reading you guys' comments. I hope you guys uh, help me out. And um, yeah, let's make this uh, bring this uh, sub back to life. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Catch you all later.